Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the Racing Line for another circuit guide here on iRacing. This is week 8 of Season 1 2021 in the Global Mazda MX-5 Cup, driving the Global Mazda MX-5. This week's circuit is Okiyama International Circuit, but this time around the short layout. And the time is set to the 19th of May 2020 at 5 past 2 in the afternoon to match the official race time sent out in the Season 1 PDF. All circuit guides are run with baseline car setups, but this is a fixed series anyway. Same format as before. Breakdown lap followed by a full speed uninterrupted lap followed by an off-board lap and as usual this is filmed before the week has begun so it's difficult to compare lap times but let's see if we can help you guys find some time. So here we go, left hand side ready for the right hander of turn one. We're going to break just past the 100 meter board, look for the light grey squares on the left, the third one, hard break from fourth down to third gear, chuck it in, aim for that apex and then get on that power as early as you can using all the track on the exit. Stick to the left hand side for this next braking zone. Just that fence post there on the left, hard brakes. We're gonna chuck a right here instead of left. So hard on the brakes, chuck into this first apex, down to second gear. You can see me sawing away at the wheel as I coast through this corner, back on the throttle to hit the second apex on the right hand side. We're then gonna quickly lift off the throttle as we turn into the left hand apex. We're also gonna shift up to third and go flat out on that power to get a nice smooth exit. You can still see me sawing away at the wheel to keep that back end in check, but as long as you can get through there, that's going to be a money corner for time. Next braking zone, past the 50 meter board. So look out for that 50 meter board and then just a little bit past it, hard on the brakes from third down to second gear, hugging the curb all the way around the left and then sticking to the middle of the track. Don't change up to third. As soon as you reach the top end of second, dab the brakes, feather the throttle through the next right hand hairpin. Again, hugging the curb all the way around. In third gear, we're going to have a quick lift off ever so slightly as we come through this right kink. And then the final braking zone, I want you to brake just as you think all of your car is past the end of that green curb. Keep it in third gear, hard on the brakes, chuck it into the apex, and then smoothly on that power using all the track on the exit. But be careful of the gravel as it might drag you out uh, towards the wall and you'll cost yourself a ton of lap time. And that's a lap of Okayama shorts. So now full speed, uninterrupted, third gear for turn one, hit the apex, back on the power as soon as you can. Stick to the left hand side as we're going to chuck a right, look for the fence post on the left, hard on the brakes, down to second, hit the first apex, soar away at the wheel, hit the second apex, get back on that power, quick lift off, up to third and then back on the power, flat out, all the way down this straight on the right hand side now. Look for the 50 meter board, just past it is where we're going to brake, top end of third gear, hard, down to second, hug the left hand side curb, keep it in the middle of the circuit as we reach the top end of second gear now, dab the brakes, keep it in second. Hard on that throttle, you can see, just feathering it all the way through. Use the track on the exit up to third gear. We're going to have a slight lift now through this kink. Turn in, hit the apex, back on the power as soon as you can. All the way past that green curb, hard on the brakes, keep it in third, hit the apex and then back on the power smoothly and as late as you want, as late as you dare, but also as early as you can so that you don't run off on that track on the exit because as you, you don't want to do that. This is your main overtaking spot. You don't want to mess up that final corner. As usual, that is pretty much it for me. So I'm going to leave you with this off-board lap. Don't forget to keep those likes and comments coming in and let me know how your races have been going. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if I don't see you on track this week, then I'll see you next week for the next video here on The Racing Line. Peace.